Okay, so what have you brought us here for demonstration today? This is a screw from one of our blown film extrusion lines. We took it out a few weeks ago and we're really not sure what we've got here. It just didn't seem to have the throughput that it used to have a long time ago. Okay. Well, basically, it looks like uh, looks like you have an extruder screw here from possibly the Ronald Reagan era. Um, what the basics of the screw design are: you have your feed zone where your plastic pellets feed in. They're transitioning down into the compression or transition zone uh, where they're being compressed and melted. And then at the end here, you have your metering zone and finally your mixing section. Well, no, when you say the mixing zone, now I've heard Maddox, is, is this just a classic Maddox mixing section? Or is it, it's, looks to it's me been like, around a long time from what I understand that concept, right? Looks to me like that's a basic Maddox concept from uh, 30, quite some time, 30, 30 40 years or so, all yeah. technology. But, yeah. Yeah. So it's, some things never need improvement from what I understand. There's a lot of new there's a lot of new mixing designs out there that would probably enhance your mixing and your output. Now the other thing we should talk about is if that screw's been in there for 25 or 30 years, there's probably some wear. We've probably worn out the OD of the flights. Oh. So if we've worn those out compared to the barrel, the idea of the barrel, that's going to affect not only your output, but the temperature of your resin, which could affect you know throughput, higher, higher product temperature and uh, you're going to have to have more cooling to get to your finished product. There's lots of other ramifications like homogenization and yeah. a lot of other things. So we're really not sure how, how old this is. Based on the, the wear and the design, I would say, what, 25 years? 20, 25 Sounds years? about right. Yeah. yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. I'm surprised it was melting pellets. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, I can understand it because it would just be flowing past over, passing, right? passing over the flight. Yeah. Okay. So I'm sitting down. Don't spare my feelings. What do you think this is worth? Um, on a good day, probably about the equivalent of a bag full of aluminum cans. Um, probably looking at fifty to seventy-five dollars at the scrapyard. Really? That good? It's all relative to your perspective, so, yes. Okay, well, thank you for taking the time to explain this. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for bringing it in.